Hello everyone, my name is Squash of Gonzalez. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video explaining why you're all wrong about Hitatsu Mi Giant. No, it was not the strongest Pokemon in the first 150. Uh, wait, wait, that's, uh, that's something else. Uh, monster. That's what I mean. And yes, it's still Cyclops. In Volume 1, Hitatsu Mi Giant's monstrous 1200 attack total was the strongest total in the entire set in the entire game, but alongside two other cards. Yep, you were lied to. And in a way where you can't even call out the guy who told you in the first place. Check it. Mammoth Graveyard and Silver Fang came out alongside Hitatsumi Giant in 1999. Or 8. It doesn't matter because it was in Volume 1. And I'm going to explain to you why it was not the strongest monster, uh, even in those circumstances. Uh, contrary to popular belief, it seems Silver Fang was the most effective choice in terms of the meta. This first set released with equip spells. Between these three monsters, Silver Fang was the only one who had an applicable equip spell. That card is known as Beast Fangs. It should be obvious as to why most players would choose to play. Well, all three of these cards in their 40 card decks as opposed to just one of them. But, because of the slight support, to Silver Fang's already super duper ridiculously high 1200 attack value, it would seem that Silver Fang's, uh, Silver Fang would be the most effective of the three monsters. Remember why Silver Fang was cool the next time you think about, uh, the highest attack. Uh, this. Next time you think about this. In Volume 2, Urabi took the throne as the strongest normal monster in the game. Its attack value competed with the highest previous attack total with an attack total of 1500. This is the same total if Silver Fang was equipped with one Beast Fangs. Urabi received some extra support from the same set in the equip spell, Raise Body Heat. This card raises a dinosaur monster's attack and defense total by 300. Uh, the same way Beast Fangs uh, raises beast monsters def uh, attack and defense totals by 300. This might seem like a lot, but it really isn't. Um, this set released with the game's first 2,000 defense monster, so there, there were already multiple ways to defend against this, albeit it would be difficult. Also, the, uh, the first 2,000 defense monster in the game was Mystical Elf. Pretty cool. In Volume 3, things started to kick up with the release of 1,600 attack monsters, that's right. Monster. Just one monster. That's what I meant to say. Rogue Doll. Uh, really nothing special to talk about here. I guess uh, I can make note of the fact that this is also the second set so far in the game to uh, receive a 2,000 defense monster named Giant Soldier of Stone. I feel like I got all the more thought-provoking stuff out of the way. If you want to hear more, I guess just let me know. Uh, it kind of went through all the Series 1 and Series 2 cards recently. If you want to check out me doing that, then you can find that on my channel. Uh, if you want to see more con and ma content made by me, Squash with Gonzalez, then subscribe to me uh, on this channel or many of my other channels, Squash MVP or Squash MVG. Well, that'll be all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Squash out.